I, like, I voted for Bigatron Alpha and uh, that didn't go well. They are now in the lower brackets. Let's see the draft those. If see there's going to be any difference. One thing I remember about RG Singapore when they played the MPO uh, Singapore Finals was the fact that they have some very interesting choices of heroes. Like Esmeralda, for some reason, is at the top of the uh, list at that point. I mean, like, Esmeralda now makes a lot of sense, right? Mm -hmm. With the changes for Thunderbell, the changes on the uh, Clock of Destiny. Mm -hmm. It makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. And looking at Arkyoshi, it looks like the constant here is the Angela still getting banned out. And Ling. Wow, okay. Even though Bray is playing the Rome, they are respecting uh, Nan here. Perhaps and they know that his Ling is insane. Yeah, it's a non factor now. Not, not available. Shadows. Well, there's a chance for Bane. <laughs> but if you don't want to fight her, a Hayabusa perhaps? That is true. What was or the a Terizla jungle. No, please don't. Cho jungle. Cho, Cho jungle. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with what was okay the What with. was the hero again? Lancelot. I was, I was thinking Lancelot. of Lancelot, right? With the Thunderbelt, War Axe, uh, a lot of his items. Uh, the tanks a lot. Sky Piercer, Lancelot. Oh yeah, Sky Piercer, Lancelot. So Roger gets banned out. You know, you know one thing that is unfortunate with Sky Piercer. Mm -hmm. Kyrie has made his name in the international stage for those crazy one HP getaways. We are not uh, gonna see that anymore. Nope, nope. No. Even if there's a diggy on the other side with a Sky Piercer, you're. Dead son. Ah, so the entire patch is just to sh not shut Kyrie. Down Kyrie. <laughs> just to shut down Kyrie. Let the left him had, had half those moments. Let's see with the last man. I mean, Chip is still up. Uh, Moskov is still up. Now, RC Singapore have to make a very important choice. Who do you ban out right now? Or don't ban out either so that you can get one or the other. That is true. That is true. Ban the Arlet, I suppose. I okay, never mind. Ban the Moskov. Moskov. Yeah. So Chip is up, but does Ark even want Chip? No yes, they do. Right. Surely you take Chip, right? Yeah. He literally invented Portal. So now, RSG Singapore. What is going to be the pickup here? Do you want to pick up something like a Faramis? Faramis or Valentina early? Valentina? This could be, oh, I mean, d down the road as the draft progresses. We might see Odette, I suppose, now oh, that yeah, Winter yeah, Crown yeah. is a thing. Clock of Destiny, Winter Crown or Death? I suppose that could be an option. Or this could be an Esmeralda pick somewhere down the road. But Honestly, but Esmeralda, I do on paper it looks good, right? Mm. And because of that, Moon's not even nerf Esmeralda quite a bit, so I don't know. Faramis, I guess. You open Faramis. Fred. Fredrin. Mm -hmm. Fredrin plus one. They're taking their time. Okay. Fredrin and Claude. Yeah. I do theorize that Claude Brody could be first pickable in this kind of patch because of how uh, Winter Crown really helps their kit a lot. No, okay, not not Winter Crown for Brody. I, I was thinking of Warcry, um, Master Assassin, as well as Kai Piercer. That combination, I feel like on paper, is very good on Brody, but looks like people are still for the Claude, especially with the Winter Crown. Like, Cla Claude is already a slipper hero. How are you going to do with that? And then the Boxia, as well as the Valentina, getting picked up by Aruki Hoshi. So, more or less traditional draft coming in from their side. So, both teams, at least for now, looks like they're going for a tank jungler. Yeah, and with the, the Valentina pick, it's just a preempt, right? And if you, if Aruki Singapore wants Faramis for this draft, I mean, you already have a Valentina to answer that. So they're going to take Xavier! Wow! I remember in the patch notes, they say that they want to make Xavier a more bursty hero. They yeah. want him to have a lot more burst damage, but man, Xavier third pick. Haven't tried it out myself, so I really don't know how bursty is bursty. Especially, how are you going to build the Xavier now? Do you still want to go for Enchanted Talisman, or do you want to go for... This is crazy. What if they sky piercer Xavier? Uh, it could be a thing. Right? It could be a thing. I mean, it has adaptive damage. You have global damage with your ult. I can see it happening. Glowing one sky piercer kind of situation for Xavier. So you deal a lot of burn. You deal a lot of burst damage once their HP is very low. And it's easier for RSG Singapore to set up a lot of low targets with the Claude. So the Xavier could get online. RSG Singapore banning out the Yuzong, and I kind of feel like this is a good idea. Just take down their EXP laners. The only thing that they have to be careful of is the chip. The chip can be a good engager if they're not careful. So whatever roamer that RSG Singapore is going to get, 
has to have a an impact whenever RQ Hoshi wants to dive in. I'm thinking something like a Ruby, but if not Ruby, I don't know, maybe even something like a Bellaric. Mm -hmm. Bellaric, Minotaur, yeah. Akai. Could, uh, what, what else? Akai Roma. Yeah, I mean, could be I mean, we've, we've, seen, we've, seen, we've seen crazier things. Yeah, we have. I was thinking Winter Crown Claw is going to be it. I guess the only drawback is that you can't move in your ult when you use your Winter Moving Crown. Moving's overrated. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that doesn't move. I mean, for a while you could not move. Yeah, I I realized that it is uh it is pretty important. Yeah, so it's not overrated. Uh, eh? uh, walking faster than me. Shout out to the man that walks a lot, Alan Walker. He he walked away, man. He, <laughs> I was supposed to attend his concert tomorrow. <laughs> he walked three hours. He he walked away three hours b before the show started. I, now I'm just sad. <laughs> well, when you're sad, someone else is happy. RSG Singapore, what is going to be their pickup here? They can, I, I would say, pick up your, your roamer early mm -hmm. and then hide your EXP so that you, you have a winning matchup, you know? You take, uh, I guess, Minnow, Grog, Tigreal. Never mind, just pick up your EXP early. I completely forgot. It's uh, RSG, I mean... It's they don't have Diablo, but they still. They do have Diablo, but... It's an RSG pick? It's a... It's a Singapore pick, I think. It's a Singapore it's a pick. Singapore pick. They, they do love the Khalid. Uh, Khalid. Khalid. They have the Khalid. The Khalid. Yes. That's how you pronounce it, okay? Be more sensitive, Husky. I'm sorry, because DJ Khalid doesn't pronounce it as DJ Khalid. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Khalid. <laughs> okay, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. Sounds weird. All right, okay, oh, she picking up the Natan. So it looks like Skylar is going to go for old reliable here. All but right. the, the, the question is, who's going to scale up much better here? Either the Xavier or the Natan. Masha! <laughs> yes. Uh. Masha chip. You know what? Masha suck egg sky piercer. Yes. Oh, dude. Get clapped. Get clapped. Get thunder clapped. So, Blade have to cease. No, actually, it's sky piercer. No, Blade have to cease. Do you still need Blade have to cease? No, 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 no. Sky no, piercer no, BOD. No. Yeah. Sky piercer BOD. Well, good luck to Khalid. Sorry, Khalid. I, I, I was thinking of the Franco as well to shut down, but... Okay, he's taking quite a while with his line, but <laughs> multiple targets here that, that you have to take care of. But looking at RG's lineup, they honestly can transition into just protecting uh, the Xavier, where everyone's just, just waiting for Araki Hoshi to engage, and then they're like, ha-ha, Uno reverse. I would say they have quite... Decent peel, right? Yeah. Good damage, good wave clear, good peel. Late game skating is infinite with what they have. I want. I mean, I want to see the application of this Xavier because I, I have a feeling this game goes late enough that Xavier is gonna two shot. You know, Skyler. I mean, two shot the Valentina. Xavier is the strongest if he's using the Gojo skin. Yeah. So we'll if he if he doesn't use the Gojo skin, he might not deserve the win. <laughs> that I agree, especially right now, JJK. Uh, the uh, the skin is now back. Yeah, it's back. It's back in season. All right, let's. You know what? I know we're gonna look at a jungler, but I want Xavier to be in frame just so that we will know if he's using the JJ skin or not. And it looks like he's not gonna be in frame. Both junglers are starting on their purple buff, so they're not gonna be seeing each other during their rotations. Now, go to the mid. Cameron, go, go to the mid. I want to see Gojo Satoru. This is the only... Okay, I, I was about to drop like a JJK spoiler, but I shouldn't be doing it. Okay, don't, don't. Legit, don't. <laughs> I, I, oh, yeah, right. yes. it's, it's a go just So it's go. Mr. Satoru. Right, Mr. is using the Temporal Raid, so he's going to be spamming a lot oh, of he, skills here. Even with his passive, right, that helps him reset the... Uh, it makes well, sense. Cool, ...skill cooldowns even more. Actually, no. We have to see either it makes sense or it's overkill. Mm. Because he, the passive already is pretty good. I mean, they did make some tweaks to the numbers to allow him to benefit a bit more from cooldown reduction, but I am not super sure how good it translates. I guess we have to find out. Yeah, Xavier is one of those heroes we haven't been able to test out just yet. Uh, looking at uh, all 
looking at all the lanes here, it looks like it's pretty balanced for both teams. I don't see anyone winning the lane uh, too much. Although you could make an argument, the fact that the Khalid is not winning too much against the Masha is a big win for the Masha because the Masha just has to wake things out. Wow, the hook onto first take to bring him back. Nah, he, he just hit four. Can he get out over time though? The slam! Just dodged by Vin. That could have been first blood for RG Singapore, but now Bray has to pay the price, pay the price as well. That's two kills. Argu Hoshi flicker from Crow once. Vin doesn't even get it. Narku Hoshi looks to turn. The big crow damage can be chased down. Rinsia with the kill tree for Arky Hoshi. Yeah, I kind of feel like Arky Hoshi could should not have gotten three kills there. No. Maybe just one. Maybe just one, but our RG Singapore really wanted that kill. Bray gets the iron hook again, but Vin now hitting level four. This is the big difference. Arky Hoshi, 15 uh, 1500 above RG Singapore. That's like, what, one entire item above of RG Singapore? Yeah, it's unfortunate that Clotho didn't have mana just now and it wasn't level 4. I mean, they can still attempt to contest the turtle because now we hit 5. They're trying to check for him. Now see the red bridge brings the entire squad. Nan needs to run right now, but with Dawn on his tail, it's not going to be easy. Of course, Nan away, so jungle. Well, turtle goes over to first 6. See that they want to keep on going. Dawning Light just comes through from mid. But unfortunately for RG Singapore, there's just no running away. Close and late to the fight. Our coach picks up two more. So I'm going to ask you a difficult question here, Husky. Uh -huh. Who's winning the early game? Wow, I, I... No one beats RG Singapore in early game. What are you talking about? Look at this. Well, okay, I, I take that back. Yeah, RQ Hoshi being almost 3,000 up against RG Singapore. This is one of the best starters that RQ Hoshi could ever want, especially when you have a Natan. Three minutes in, having two assists, and first six having a 100% kill participation, two kills and three assists. This is a very good story for, for uh, RQ Hoshi. Yeah. RQ Singapore, the thing about uh, a composition that is reliant on the late game, you don't want to lose more than 2,000. And so, it's 3,000. Yep, stolen bloody hunt early on. They bring Closer in, but Closer has to... Uh, that's just not have enough damage. Even CS wants to join the fight, but my man, what? What was that? Even Gojo can't save you. Safe to say, RG Singapore... <laughs> they need... They need to check out how they're really going about the team fight. I love that whenever your Nakama is in trouble, you want to back him up. Some... You know what, Bray? <laughs> good, good on you! You got a Masha, you got a solo kill! Nice now hook. they're on the board. Nice hook. Now they're on the board. But but for for real, RG Singapore they need to understand when it's it's fine to take the losses as as it is because you want closer to join in the fight. If he gets a few assists, he can definitely snowball out of control. But now is definitely not a time, especially because he hasn't even completed one item. Yeah. If he has an enchanted talisman, I would say yeah, sure you can try it out, but. Don't dive. Don't don't commit too much. Yeah. You know, the moment you see that you're in a losing fight, bail out. If if you have to sacrifice the turtle, let him get turtle. Yeah, like not every fight is a fight for you. Not every fight is a fight to the death. Yes. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. Sometimes you know, take losses. Uh, Sky Piercer on Dawn already, so that's going to be quite a thing. You want a tier one? It's a bait. It's a bait. Bait. He comes in, drops the portal. Crow has to go to the back line, but they've lost closer already. RSG Singapore is completely baited in. They don't even get the objective. Maybe the bloody Han trying to lock down Rinzia, but he's the one that falls. Skylar just fighting. They down. Vin comes through the portal from behind oh, with, the, with the wide walk, and he finds a kill onto Bray. Well, good thing is he has got a shutdown there, so a lot of gold going over to him. Closer now having his enchanted talisman. I would say it was a good idea from RG Singapore understanding that okay, we're gonna lose the turtle, might as well all in on mid. And to their credit, they almost got it. Almost it's, got it. it's like what? One wave and a few basic attacks wave from from securing it. The thing is, in today's matches, the losing well, they haven't lost yet. Oh! Wow, that was actually a sick one. It continues to commit, closer lenses. Oh, and that was what it took to take down Skyler. I was speechless, brave, making the place work. Yeah, and the, that that 
such a hard thing to pull off, but Art Singapore at least finding some shutdown. The kill going over to Crow. Would have liked it if he went to closer, but Khalid, fine. You know, you, they, he does need the items. If I remember correctly, I feel like before this, when Bree was on the roam, he was using the Franco as well. So this might be a, a signature for him whenever he's on the roam. No, Vin, actually, the Bloody Hunt was used closer. Will survive, but they do lose to Khalid. Here comes Don, pointing to look for closer. Doesn't find him, but find CS. That's the double tap. And the lethal ignition burn just enough to take him down. Three for RQ Hoshi. Across the map, and Ray be victim number four. First six sticks on to him. Triple kill for Skyler. RQ Hoshi is showing Singapore what the Indonesian spice is all about because they're all about non-stop pressure. Mm -hmm. You feel like this is a good spot to end the fight? Nah, we're, we're round two, baby. Yeah, Indonesia just, uh, there's some, you know, Similarities between Indonesia and Malaysia, right? We we just stat check you. Yeah. If we if we beat you in the micro, that's all it that's what matters. It's the only thing that matters. This is our way of cosplaying anime. We we punch first. If it doesn't work out, we punch harder next time. Man. This is I what feel like Singapore is doing the same thing. I feel I feel like this is what happens when you don't check what the Valentina has. He just ran into a bloody hunt. And uh, yeah, that could have been a kill to Skylar to his credit, but unfortunately, RG Singapore ended up losing two members. And first thing, he's not giving up on this. And uh, Skylar just, just two taps those. I think this game is has uh, officially spiraled out of control. It's good and bad. RG Singapore, the good thing is they're playing like they're not having an 8,000 deficit. Yep. The bad thing is they're playing like they don't have a 9,000 deficit. Yeah, and uh, the, the jungler dies six times. Something of You know what? I feel bad for the junglers. Maybe this passion. Look at first six. This is just... Oh. This is the first Lord. And he Wait. wasn't able to tank that much. Yeah. They barely just made it out. If only this, this closer was like... Landed his ultimate. Could have been a shutdown. Okay, bloody hunt for Bray. But where's the follow-up? I, I think you just run. Yeah, and it's a good thing that they did because RK Hoshi, 23 kills to 3. This, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, we, we see, this is what we see a difference. You you cover the flags and people might think it's actually MPL Cambodia with oh, how yeah. much kills there is. Honestly, I feel like this patch is pretty good for Cambodia. Dawn now oh. has, oh, good hook. Oh, not the pool they want. And that's just going to be a flick of it. Is what happened? This brings it Dawn. You didn't even see. Closer go down and Don even has time to go for two more. And RQ Hoshi, 9 minutes and 24, 5, 25 seconds takes game one. So here's the thing about new patches, man. We see a lot of ridiculousness happening and uh, looks like the name of the game 